What's up, YouTube? This is Jay the Wander with Oakland Latinos Unidos, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos United, the voice of the Latino community in the Bay Area, California, YouTube, and beyond. Well, this is a new video for you to enjoy that I'm making about something that happened in Richmond, California on the night of December 13 of 2008 at 9.30 p.m. This incident that I'm about to talk about is about a rape of a lesbian woman, a 28-year-old lesbian woman. Apparently, it turns out she was a Latina lesbian woman. She was Mexican or Central American or Chicana. I'm not sure. I know they interviewed her one time, and they uh, they didn't show her face, but she was speaking Spanish. So we know for sure she was uh, Spanish-speaking. She was a Latina, Mexi Mexican, or whatever she was. Apparently, what happened was on the night of December 13, 2008, she was getting into her car on Visalia Street, Visalia Street, in Richmond, California. It's a street right off of 23rd Street. And uh, this neighborhood is a predominantly Mexican neighborhood, predominantly Latino neighborhood. And um, apparently four four guys hit her over the head with, with a rock or something and attempted to rob her. And then they ended up kidnapping her. They took her to a, to a location where there's some abandoned houses or apartments on uh, Bergbeck Street, which is uh, up on, which is not far from there, but the area where they took her to was the area that's closer to like Rumrill. It's where the BART yard is, where they park all the BART trains, the subway trains. And um, basically, they raped her. Four kid, four guys raped her. And um, the the story was on the news for a long time. For about two weeks. And they finally caught the guys that did it. And you know this is truly a sad story. Because she was a young Latina woman. She was a lesbian. She was gay. I forgot. I don't know if I told you that already. But she was gay. It turned out she was gay. And when they raped her. They were using gay. Anti-gay slurs towards her. Like you know they were calling her a fag. Or a bitch. Or you're gay. Or whatever they were saying. I guess apparently she had a, a, a rainbow flag on her car. But whether that, that's the reason she was a target or not, I'm not sure. But the sad thing is, the guys that get raped are these guys. I'm about to show you. One of the guys caught was this guy. His name was Humberto Hernandez Salvador, 31 years old, of Richmond, California. And there was another guy, too. This guy right here. His name was Josue Gonzalez Josue Gonzalez, 21 years old, of Richmond. Apparently it says he, he had an address in San Rafael, California, which is across the bridge from Richmond and Marin County. These two gentlemen were arrested and charged with the ra gang rape of this girl. It was four people. Another one was a guy named Daryl Hodges, who was African American. He was 16 years old. And a 15-year-old Latino kid who his name hasn't been released. But um, it's pretty sad what these guys did to her. They beat her, they raped her, they robbed her. They left her pretty much for dead damn near near some abandoned uh, apartments on Burbank Street. Well, the Richmond police did their job and they caught these guys. And um, the way they caught, one of the ways they caught them was that the idiots used their nicknames while they were doing it. Uh, the guy, Josue Gonzalez, went by the name Pato, and the 16-year-old Darrell Hodges went by the nickname Blue. And that was one of the ways they ended up locating who they were. I think they arrested three, and the last guy, Josue, turned himself in. You know, this was this is pretty sad what happened. You know, four guys kidnapped and raped this poor woman and traumatized her. Probably traumatized her for life. Beat her, raped her. You know, leave her for dead. I mean, that's a traumatic experience. And it doesn't matter if she was gay or whatever. Gay, straight, old, young. It don't matter. That's a, that's something traumatizing for a woman. That could have been my mom, your mom, your sister, my sister, my cousin, my aunt, my niece, anybody. You know, but the thing I feel sorry for, the thing that feels sorry, the thing that makes me feel bad, like the thing that upsets me is that all the suspects, one black and three Latinos, one 16-year-old, the African-American, one 15-year-old, another Latino, were doing something stupid like this. You know, the 16-year-old the and the 15-year-old basically ruined their lives because they're going to be charged as adults, 
ruined their lives. You know, and the 21 year old and 31 year old were probably, probably got them to join in on it. You know, they probably, you know, they're kids and they're going to listen to what the older, more cooler guys have to say. So, you know, it's, a, it's this whole fascination with those people of color and crime and criminals and gangs and drugs and, you know, that's what it stemmed from, from that. You know, these, these this 15-year-old and 16-year-old kids, their, their lives are basically ruined just because they want to live out this fucking thug life. I want to be a criminal. I want to rob this lady and terrorize her. You know? Now they're facing the hate crime. They're facing, you know, rape. They're going to be sex offenders. Even when if they get out, even if they ever get out, they're going to be sex offenders now. You know, that's bad, you know? A 15-year-old and a 16-year-old, I really feel bad for them because they're young kids and they were, they did something stupid like this. You know what I mean? The 21-year-old and the 31-year-old, well, you know, their actions speak for themselves. They're adults. They knew what they were doing. And the kids, the, the, well, the youngsters probably knew what they were doing too, but it just upsets me that these young kids, instead of going to school and doing something positive, they're fucking gang raping some poor lady and now they're going to fucking jail and being charged with adults and their whole fucking life career and future has been basically crumpled up like a piece of paper and thrown in the trash. And you know, the thing that makes me sad is that black and brown kids, we always make ourselves look bad. We make the community look bad by doing stupid shit like this. You know, being fascinated with this crime fucking thug bullshit lifestyle that we're obsessed with. But you know, the guys got caught. I'm glad they got caught. You know, if you commit the crime, you're going to do the time. You know, if you do the crime, expect to do the time. You know what I mean? You shouldn't have did something fucking stupid like that. For what? For like $5 in a fucking rape? Come on now. You know, I feel bad for that woman. I don't, they never released her name. You know, I feel bad for her and, you know, my condolences to her, you know. Because I know it's a traumatic, fucked up experience. And, you know, she's going to be scarred from, by that for life now. But, you know, I'll give the Richmond police, they did their job and they arrested the idiots that did this. And, uh, that's all I really have to say, you know what I mean? Uh, about them, uh, saying gay anti-gay things to, her, to this woman, I think a lot of that stems from the whole Proposition 8 bullshit, you know, this anti-gay hatred that's been made up by this fucking stupid-ass proposition, you know, that's another thing that might have contributed to this uh, assault and rape, but um, that's all I have to say, hopefully you enjoy this video, and uh, hey, they got caught. They got put off the streets and, uh, well, you know, for once the police did their job. All right then, late.